In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve knee pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to show three easy exercises that can give both quick and long-lasting knee pain relief. They're going to work by lengthening and strengthening the muscles and tendons around the knee. This is especially good for anything from knee arthritis all the way to just general aches and pains. All of these exercises work just a little bit differently. So go through them all and use what gives you the best results. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home and you may find give quick knee pain relief even within 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that knee pain right now. In the first part, we're going to focus on getting quick knee pain relief by releasing muscle and soft tissue tightness. This is known as gua sha or muscle scraping and it's very easy to do. We just need a couple things. The first being a large metal spoon. You want one with a little bit more thickness. We also need a form of lubrication. Any massage oil or lotion that is designed to be put on the skin will work. I'm going to be using coconut oil massage lotion. So let's start off by taking the lubrication right here and pretty much putting it all over our knee on all sides. We also want to focus on the calf muscles right here and also on the top and bottom of the thigh. We're going to focus on everything. From there, I'm going to take my spoon and it doesn't matter what part of the spoon you use. You can use the tip, you can use the rounded portion. I would experiment with it. You're probably going to find that certain areas of the knee, certain parts of the uh, spoon right here will work just a little bit better. So experiment with it. I'm going to start right here at the top of the kneecap on the inside. Before we start though, I want to make a note that we're only going to go over soft tissue like muscle and skin. Let's stay off bony spots like the kneecap right here because that can cause irritation. So angle your spoon roughly 30 to 45 degrees and press into the skin right here only to a point where you're going to get a very comfortable self-massage. Don't cause any irritation. And from there, what you're going to do is just a slow stroke upwards. With these movements, we're going to go down up. And at that point, when you do this, go over a certain spot roughly about five times. But if it feels like it needs a little bit more tension, you can throw more repetitions in. As you do this, you're probably going to notice that red pockets form on the top of the skin. I don't know if you can see it over the uh, camera right here, but that's blood flow coming into the area, which is good. This helps promote healing. You're also going to notice that certain spots just feel really tight, gritty, almost like sandpaper. Actually, I feel a little bit right here. Here. At that point, we want to focus over that spot a little bit more because generally that's a spot of adhesion and that might be an inflamed spot that we really want to break up, which will end up giving us more pain-free range of motion. But go over a certain spot roughly about five times and then switch over a different spot. Doing this whole process on the top part of the leg, we really want to focus on the uh, quadricep right here, also doing it on the back of the leg over the hamstring, on the inside, outside the knee, all the way around it, and also focus on the calf muscle right here, avoiding the shin bone because we don't want to irritate that. And you can also then use the tip right here to work around the kneecap to dig into those spots because I know a lot of people have pain around the kneecap. So it's just a really good way to get in there and break up that tightness. From there, if you are still having lingering pain, what I would recommend doing is attacking the muscle fibers at different angles. So if you're going straight up with it like this, angle it roughly at about 45 degrees and then repeat. It will just hit it a little bit differently and you may find will give you better Better results. So experiment with different parts of the spoon, different angles, and just target any spot that just needs it a little bit more until that finally releases. If you want to take this one to the next level, we can put some different knee motions in there to engage the muscles a little bit differently and help identify painful motions or even positions that are causing knee clicking. So what I like to do is pretty much just move my knee up and down like this, identifying any spot that feels tight and achy or a kid might be giving a clicking sensation. So once you basically get into a position where you feel if you went a little bit further, it would cause pain, you want to stop right over that spot. And then you're just going to attack those muscles that just feel really tight and achy. What you're going to do from there is build into the motion a little bit more, again, stopping before pain, and then repeating this over and over again until you feel like your knee is just really loose and you don't experience that pain or maybe that clicking sound. 
So here's a really easy exercise that you can pretty much do anywhere, including at work. We just need to start seated high enough where our foot will not touch the floor. This one works by lengthening and strengthening muscles and tendons around the knee to not only give quick pain relief, but hopefully long lasting also. So what I'm going to do is start with my right knee first. Let's take our foot and turn it inward as much as we can. The focus with this movement though is to move below your knee. So we want all the movement to come below our knee. We're not trying to turn the leg in with this one. To help out, you can press above your knee right here and create a stable anchor point. It might help you just kind of concentrate on that a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is turn my foot inward as much as I can. The key with this exercise, don't go to the point of pain. Let's say that if I went any further with this, it would start to cause knee pain. I want to stop right before that point. And then I'm going to hold this for five seconds. And then I'm going to relax. What you're going to notice is on the next repetition, you'll probably have a little bit more pain-free range of motion to build into that movement. So build into it through repetitions. But let's go inward with it, hold that for five seconds. And then we're going to go outward on the next repetition and repeat. I like to do this one for roughly 10 repetitions on both sides. But if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, you can always throw in another set or two. Let's take this one to the next level by now helping to strengthen those muscles and tendons a little bit more. So I'm going to get back into that original position, moving inward with my foot, but this time around I'm going to do a kicking motion, lifting my foot upward towards the ceiling. As you do this, you're going to feel a lot of muscle will start to fire, including the quadriceps right here on the top of the thigh. Build into it only to your comfort level. Hold this one for five seconds. You're going to relax, and then you're going to repeat it by taking the foot outward. Again, I like to do this one for about 10 repetitions on both sides. And also try to challenge yourself a little bit more by throwing in another set or two if you feel you are able to. To even take this one to the next level, you can add some more resistance by using an ankle weight. The more resistance, generally the more strength you will gain. So use something like an ankle weight right here and then repeat that movement. These are pretty inexpensive. You can get them locally at any sporting goods department. If you would like to get one online, I will leave a link in this video's description. So building off the last exercise, we're going to do one that's a little bit more challenging. This one is going to help strengthen more muscles in the leg and around the knee, hopefully giving us more quick and long lasting pain relief. These are known as knee star taps. You can pretty much do these anytime, anywhere, including at work. As a note before we begin, if you do have a lot of knee pain, weakness, or balance issues, I would use something like a sturdy chair, preferably one without wheels, or a wall off to the side of pain for support. So with star taps, there's two different ways to be able to do them. The first one is the easier, more basic way, and then there is a more advanced, challenging way. Start with the first one, progress into the second one when you feel ready. To get into position for the basic way, we're going to have very good standing upright posture. Keep your back as straight as possible. We're going to tighten our core muscles for support. It's kind of like taking your belly button towards your spine. And then we're going to put all of our body weight onto our heels. What I'm going to do is slightly bend the painful side's knee. So in this case, I'm demonstrating left-sided knee pain. Again, use the chair for support if you need it, or if you want to make it more challenging, just put your hands on your hips just like this. So put a slight bend into that knee and then lock it. We're not going to have this knee move at all. Also, when you do this exercise, make sure that your knee stays straight ahead so it's not buckling out or in just like this. The non-painful side is going to go straight ahead just like this. Knee straight, toes pointed straight ahead. From there, just like the name implies, we're going to do a slight tapping motion with the non-painful side, just nice and slow. Do this for about five repetitions, and then you're going to move a little bit off to your side and then repeat. As you do this, you're going to feel the muscles in the leg, that painful side's leg, really start to fire to stabilize this movement. It's going to help build strength and stability around that knee. But keep going towards your side right here and then work your way all the way back. When you can't go any further, 
work your way back to the starting point. You're going to notice that one certain spot, one certain angle, like let's say right here for me, is the most challenging. Maybe it's really addressing tightness or weakness. That is your weak link. And at that point, you want to throw more repetitions in, maybe 10 to 15, because it's only going to help strengthen that movement and hopefully give us more knee pain relief. But afterwards, if it feels like you have a little bit more energy, you can complete this whole cycle, this whole complete arc for two to three sets. Once you feel ready to progress into the second part, this is what we're going to do. Again, we're going to have very good upright posture. Let's tighten our core muscles, but this time around, we're going to squeeze our glutes. It's really important to focus on this because the glutes right here help stabilize the legs, the hips, and the lower back, big instigator of lower back pain. This time around, all of the movement is going to come through the painful side's knee through a squatting motion. So I'm going to squeeze my glutes, again, put all of my body weight onto my heel. Let's have a slight bend in our knee. The other leg right here, the non-painful side, again, is going to go straight ahead. During this movement, again, make sure the knee doesn't travel out or in. It just stays nice and straight in front of us. But we're going to squat down very slightly. So bend that painful knee, bring your bottom down and away at the same time. The key is only go down to a point where you feel those muscles engage, including the glutes, but not to the point of causing more pain or discomfort. If that's the case, back off slightly. Go to a very good activation of those muscles, hold this for a second or two, and then come back up just like this. But I try to do this one nice and slowly, and through repetitions, you're going to notice more pain-free range of motion to the point where you can now tap this leg right here, this foot, towards the floor. Do that for five repetitions, and then just do that same arc that we did with the first exercise, addressing any spots that you feel need a little bit more attention. And then afterwards, you can always do it without the support of the chair or the wall to make it much more challenging, but I do recommend doing this on both sides to keep everything in balance. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.